Hello friends, my name is Maddie McLean. I am ranking the contestants from Eurovision Semifinal 1. I'm not saying it's my first heartbreak of the season, but it's my first heartbreak of the season. So uh, this is a list from Tear Maker. I am just going to dive in. It doesn't have the name of the songs, but that's where I have to test my knowledge and fill them in accordingly. My bottom choice for the day, I don't think is anyone's, I don't think this is any surprise to literally anyone, but Switzerland's Marius Bear, did I enjoy them? No, I did not. So I'm going to interpret this, this list is a little confusing because they go one to three. I'm giving that the number of points I would give to them. So actually, you know what? Screw it. I'll make it so that the bottom, I don't know why the top is red. Red usually associates to negative. But anyways, Switzerland, bad. Marius Bear, the cute, not great. Uh, no, like it just was, it wasn't working for me didn't i still don't like it i thought the performance was lacking he can sing he's a beautiful singer i think that it's nice but overall definitely not where i wanted it to be and overall i don't think that it was kind of ready for the spotlight speaking of ready for the spotlight uh lps last pizza slice kind of gets my last slice of the cake in this regard uh i think that they're very very interesting and they're very good artists but overall, I have to say, I don't think that they had quite the same level of professionalism as other people. Uh, but you know what? I will give them credit. They did do better, in my opinion, than Bulgaria. Bulgaria, uh, music, intelligent music project with intention, never really clicked for me. I feel like it was a song straight out of like 2006, which is a shame because I actually really like the songs from 2006 and this one just kind of fell flat for me. So overall, I don't think it should have... I think it, it didn't deserve to qualify overall. I feel like a lot of people were, are satisfied with that outcome. So overall, not actually that much to say in regards to this one. Uh, in terms of the other non-qualifiers, I do agree with most of them. I think kind of sitting at the bottom for me was Croatia. Um, not because I don't like the song. I actually do really like the song. I think that it's very well done, very well performed. Overall, what I didn't really enjoy about it has to be the fact that it just didn't really work on stage. She looked beautiful. She performed well. But there was like a disconnect between her and the dancers and what they were doing. So after seeing everything, I do kind of think that she didn't quite deserve to go through the way that I think a lot of people were hoping for her to. Um, I kind of feel the same way about Austria. I feel like that circle that they were dancing in didn't really do them any favors. I feel like Lumix and Pia Maria are both very talented. I don't think it was their best performance vocally overall. Uh, there was a lot here that could have worked that just didn't quite connect on, in my opinion. But yeah, that, at the end of the day, that's just kind of how it, how the cookie crumbles. Uh, Denmark, I think very competently done. Uh, I will always be a Bonnie Tyler stan. So the fact that she even looked like Bonnie Tyler when she was doing stuff, I'm here for it. I'm all, I'm completely down. Uh, I really enjoyed the performance overall. I think that they did a wonderful job. Um, overall though, I have to say, I do kind of agree that it didn't quite reach the levels of other people on the night. But that's just a personal preference. I do think if they were coming to Canada, I would see them in a heartbeat because they'd be so much fun. Like, what a fun concert to go see. And controversial choice, especially amongst some of my compatriots, uh, Moldova. They were my bot. They were like my closest to non-qualifier. So overall, their performance was fun. It was goofy. Uh, but these are also the guys who brought us, you know top hats and unicycles and does this quite reach the level of craziness as top hats and unicycles i would argue no i don't think it's i don't think it quite landed the way that we all wanted it to and unfortunately for me they don't qualify but i do enjoy the energy i do enjoy the song i have nothing against the fact that they're going through to the finals i think that they're very to, to quote the best show they're perfectly cromulent there's nothing wrong with them just after watching them i really do wish that they took it just a bit step a bit step further so bit step whatever i'm saying uh my 10th place iceland i thought that they did a really good job sister is very nice i love their activism they're extremely outs wait yeah yeah i put the right one there they're extremely outspoken i love their energy i love their feel 
Uh, I really do think that they bring something special and unique to the contest. And whenever families do harmonies, you can tell because they know how each other's voices work. They know how to present themselves in a unique and interesting way. And even though it was very simple, it was impactful. And I respect that. Um, next up for me, and a bit of a heartbreaker for me, I was really hoping that Albania would make it through. Uh, but I do feel like after watching it, I do feel like their national final uh, Festival of Kangas performance was better. I think that there was a much more impactful force. They built up the song a lot more, and I really do think that it was a, it it could have gone further. But her vocals weren't as sharp on the night. I will give I will say that. So the fact that the televote didn't come for this quite as strong disappointing but at the same time it is understandable uh one of the surprise qualifiers i think for a lot of people was lithuania not because no one didn't like the song but because i thought it would be overshadowed by other songs which are much more lively much more interesting and much more engaging but she's magnetic she's beautiful she's just a lovely personality when latvia didn't make it she went over and gave them a hug and it's just like oh like you can tell that she wanted to, like, she's just so happy to be there. She's so effervescent in her staging and just everything about her. I love, I just, Monica Liu, come to Canada. I will learn Lithuanian sentence for you. One, only one. That's all I can manage. I can barely do French. So, you know, that, that's just how I feel. Uh, Next up for me, a bit of controversial one, is Greece. Uh, lovely performance, lovely energy, love the song, very emotional, very, very, very beautiful. Uh, I really have to give credit where credit is due, and they do a good job of knocking this song out of the park. They take it, they run with it, they do a really good job. Everything that could be done with the staging has been done. They do a very good, very, very good work. So. Overall, very happy to see her through the finals. I don't think anyone was surprised by the fact that she's in the finals, but I do think overall uh, it is, for me, sitting just a, a little level below the other one else, but she's a pro. She's very good. Again, someone else I would happily fork out my own money to go see. Um, i trying to decide who's next for me. I think it's Netherlands. Uh, I love Steen. Uh, Steen is, is super cool, super pretty, like, the staging is so simple but effective. I love what they do with the lighting cues and assigning it to the vocal uh, vocal flourishes of the ooh, ah. Like, I do think they do a really good job of enhancing the song. Whereas, you know, sometimes you're looking at something and you're just like, oh, that's very clearly uh, this. That's very clearly this energy that they're giving. So I really enjoyed how that was just clean, professional beautiful and her emotion at the end was palpable like you could feel her feeling that and that's that's what it's all about that's what that's really what it comes down to uh for me next would have to be armenia i love the song she does a great job i love how she's not this is gonna sound bad she's not traditionally pop star beautiful but she's gorgeous i love watching her her presence is magnetic her song is catchy it does sound a little bit out of the 2010s, but that's not a bad thing for me. I really do enjoy her energy. I love her feeling. I love her just presence of being there. I think that she represents a lot of really cool and interesting things. So overall, very happy to see her and really excited to see what she does in the final as well. Um, my biggest heartbreak has to be Latvia. I was really rooting for this song. This is the one song that I have enjoyed since the first time I listened to it back in, like, I think January when Chris first sent it to me. But that first line is so good, it can't be denied, and it got denied, and I was so upset, and it's just, it sucks. It sucks to see someone that you want to see do so well, do really well, and then still fail to get through, and it's just heartbreaking. Ugh, like it really is frustrating but overall great job they really have their shit together their performance is wonderful super energetic super fun and very interesting i think that they did a really great job my number three choice is portugal 
controversial choice. A lot of people don't have this on high. A lot of people don't like the fact that they're singing to each other. I argue that. I say that there's a beautiful simplicity to the fact that they are only singing to each other. I think that it creates this unique atmosphere within the middle of Eurovision that's secretive but inviting. I think that it's something that they're doing to kind of draw you in to be like, oh, we're not going to do this the typical traditional way. We're going to do this a little bit, you know, more... I don't know the right way to put it. It's super intimate. It's a really beautiful performance, and they do a great job. I am excited to see them in the final. I think that they're going to do a really good job. And I, I know I've said that before. It's just very light. It's very easy. It's very pretty. And sometimes they're, that's all you need. Sometimes you just need that beautiful, simple moment. And I think that they deliver that today in spades. So, well, not today, two days ago. But, you know, it feels like today. Uh, my second choice to surprise no one is Norway. Give that wolf a banana. Uh, they made the ears floppy. And I just, it's so fun. It's so dumb, but it's so fun. Most people would have this probably in their much, much, much lower. And that's totally fair. This is not a song for everybody. But this song uh, scratches my funny bone. It is so ridiculous. It's so over the top and fun. And now that Latvia isn't in the final and Norway is, like, I think that this song is going to do very well. Um, it really is heartbreaking that they're not there with Latvia. I feel like they complemented each other really well. And without that other bizarre energy, I'm worried that it's just going to get lost in the shuffle. But we'll see how this goes. And then finally, I don't think anyone's surprised. Ukraine was easily, for me, the best of the night. Um they they nailed it they know what they're doing they're having fun with it they're doing an excellent job performing and preparing and overall i think there's just a really interesting and beautiful energy that they're bringing and obviously right now they're representing something much bigger and much larger than themselves they're a favorite to win i think everyone's assuming they will win um i just still don't know i'm still holding out hope that Either Swe I think Sweden or UK have still have a chance, but it, it really does depend on that televote. Like if as long as they don't screw up their performance on Friday for the jury, I think they stand a really good shot at winning. But I don't think it's I don't think it's a guaranteed thing. I'm still I'm still holding out a little hope that there is a chance for someone else. But right now, like I think it's obvious that Ukraine is going to do very well for themselves, and I don't think anyone's mad at that fact. So Ukraine probably the winners of Eurovision, but let's see how I compare to everybody else. All right, no surprise here. Ukraine being number one for most people is fairly uh, fairly on par for everyone else. Austria in second is surprising, but not unheard of. Um, they also have Norway very high up, which is fine. Netherlands also very high up, which is equally, like that's normal, kind of what to be expected. Uh, they also have Portugal and Greece very high, which makes sense. Switzerland that high? Really, people? Who likes this song? Who? Okay, if you are someone who likes this song, please let me know, because I don't get it. Um, it's just not for me, I guess, but I'm still just like, how? Why? What? No, no. Don't like, don't like, don't, don't like. The, doesn't give me the good feels. Um, Lithuania being so low, I get it, I guess. Um, Slovenia is, is pretty high, actually, so good for them uh croatia being that high armenia being so low that surprises me bulgaria and bottom don't think anyone's too surprised by that but you know it is what it is uh overall denmark being high yeah that's fine latvia just narrowly missing out on the top parts here i think that's very telling but yeah overall i am not overly upset with the final results uh obviously i'm mostly upset just the fact that latvia didn't go through but that's something fairly minor in the grand scheme of things so i'm not going to hold too much against it so that's uh that's how i feel about semi-final one so if you liked what you see here and you want to see more about this we do talk about this on my other podcast called uh think about eurovision that i do with chris and chrissy so feel free to check out my full opinions there and the opinions of the other two but other than that uh, i hope you like what you've seen and if you have any other questions my name is maddie mcclain just let me know bye